welcome back to my monthly oracle video. I'm Teresa and for February oracle I'll be using the Wisdom of Pavilion deck. I know January can be a very depressing month where time seems to stand still, but now it's gone and it's time to welcome February and all the magic that comes along with it. And this year is a leap year, so we have one more day to make the best out of this month. So let's jump right into the cards to shuffle and draw them so you can pick out your oracle message. I'm going to start the reading, but if you need more time, please feel free to pause the video and take all the time you need to choose your card, okay? Now, for everyone that picked out the first card, you got yourself doing fairy. Let's see if I can focus. Yes. This card has a message, thoughts, words, intellectual analysis. So this is a very interesting fairy to start. Especially considering that we are still under the influence of the Aquarius season, which is an air sign. So air is always an indicator of the mind and intellect. And this fairy reinforces that idea. See how peaceful the fairy is standing, naked from any pretentiousness. This is how you should face your February and your actions this month. You're being asked to be calm and collected, think before you act, and take a good look into your own intellect. As the card says, intellectual analysis, you need to think deep on your intellect. Are your actions in line with the way you think? Are you acting out of reflexes or are you actually acting with intention? February is definitely not a month to act on impulse, okay? Be rational with your daily choices and be mindful of your words. Words yield a great power when used correctly, so you must be wise and use them well. Use them in your favor. But don't lose your sense of self-worth or the respect of others with this, okay? You can and should Always be humble, even when using the power of words for your own benefit. If you feel like something needs to change, then this is a nod to start by changing the way you are thinking. Sometimes we need to change our perception of things and our way of thinking about them before we can make actual changes in the physical world. So to sum it up, be rational. Be intentional and do a deep dive into your own thought process to see better results in the long run. So let's move on to the second card. And if you pick this one, you have chosen the card of disruption. Let's see. Okay. Um, okay. Oh boy. This is um, an interesting card as well. There is something crossing your path right now or at least there will be during the course of the month. But you should hold on and don't despair, okay? Disruption is a card that sort of warns you that turbulence will be felt, a crack in the flow of things, but this is necessary in order to keep things moving. It's a wake-up call that you are not building on um, a solid foundation, okay? Imagine that you are building a river dam, but you are so excited about finishing it that you don't pay close attention to the details. And before you finish, a crack shows up with water flowing. You will obviously get upset over it and you either keep going or give up. But this is the disruption, the wake-up call that you need to calm down and look at the details to fix them. If this small disruption didn't show up now, you could have finished the dam with this little flaw going by unnoticed and then the whole structure would fall apart later on. So this way, the disruption is letting you know, look, here's something that isn't stable and it's fixing before you move forward. 
and be sure that it will work out if you fix it now. So what do you do? You fix it, you work on it and you solve it. The foundation gets stronger and will be safer. What are you building in your life right now that, due to excitement or rush, can make you blind to the tiny details? Be careful with that. And of course, if a disruption shows up, be assured it will be a helpful warning that things can still be fixed. If by chance there is no way to fix this disruption and the problem is way bigger than anticipated, then sit back, analyze the situation and think on how can you rebuild it? How can you rebuild whatever fell apart without having it falling apart again? Where did it go wrong and how can it be fixed on the next attempt? Whatever this disruption may be, remember that it's there to help you find the best path to move forward in a safe way. Don't give up, okay? Moving on to the third card, you got yourself the stag with the message Pride and Leadership. This is a beautiful, beautiful card that brings together the idea of pride and humbleness, even if those two words can be opposites. I know it sounds weird, but let us analyze it and hopefully I can make it sound simpler and easier to understand. So pride, we often think about pride as a feeling of um, arrogance, very close to arrogance, but it doesn't have to be. We can have pride in our accomplishments, we can be prideful of our triumphs, but we can, and more often than not, we should be humble about them. There's obviously a good feeling when we are praised for our accomplishments, and receiving compliments is always a boost to our egos. That is perfectly normal and it's fine. We should always be the first ones to compliment and encourage ourselves and others around us when we see them succeed at something. It just creates this wave of positivity that ripples all around us and even affects our own mood. However, feeling pride and receiving compliments shouldn't cloud our judgment or even our ability to acknowledge the effort, the work, and also the luck that helped us get to that high point. Don't get me wrong, when I talk about luck, it may seem that luck wasn't a factor, but it will always be, okay? There was luck in everything good that ever happened in your life. If you think about where you were born, your family, your neighborhood, your friends, it all comes down to random luck, and it helps to shape up your future self. This luck is different for everyone, of course, but thinking about the big picture, if you were to be born in a different family, your life would be completely different as well. That's the luck I'm referring to, okay? Now back to the main point of this card. You may feel a lot of pride in your accomplishments during the month of February, and, um, You'll take on this energetic wave of pride to take on a more assertive role of leadership, even if just regarding your own life. Being a leader to ourselves can be empowering as well, as sometimes our best guide is our own sense of worth and willpower. Finally, we have reached the fourth and final card, and to those of you that picked out this one, you have chosen another marker card, and this one is the card of truth. And this is a good card to finish this oracle. You need to be truthful and follow a path of honesty. Can you see how this card depicts a sort of bridge with the symbol of the card? It's the same symbol. This is because we can only build a stable, strong and long-lasting bridge if it is built on honesty. Similar to the story of the River Dam, we need to build with truth. We need to be truthful with our intentions, our plans and even our emotions or feelings. So don't hide behind tiny little lies because lies, as harmless as they can feel, will always be lies. 
and lies never bring out any good to the table. Deception will create tiny cracks that when pushed a little too far will fall apart. You need to face this month in the most honest way possible, even if you want to shelter someone else from a harsh truth. There's a good intention behind your actions, but believe me that in the long run, this lie will snowball and end up hurting this person way more than it needed to. So come clean with what you can. Don't keep secrets in order to please or cater to someone. Because you matter, your feelings matter, and honesty will always be the correct way to act. Also keep in mind that this card can be warning you of possible lies being thrown at you, okay? Maybe people aren't being completely honest with you due to several different reasons. We are all humans after all. Maybe they want to protect you, to keep you in the dark from shady situations and so on. So be careful and pay close attention to the signs. And if you feel like you need to, then don't be afraid to ask people to be 100% honest with you. From time to time, we need to reassure people that we want honesty from them. We want, we need and deserve the truth, no matter how hurtful it may be. Only by knowing the truth can we choose the correct way to act. And only by facing the truth can we start to heal. So don't be afraid of honesty. Speak and act your truth and demand others to be truthful when dealing with you. And these were the oracle message for this month. I can't wait to know if you picked a card that resonated with you and how you will apply its wisdom during this month of February. Remember that these are generic readings, okay? And they are done mostly for entertainment purposes. I'm not doing a one-on-one -on -one reading. So if you want a more personal or more in-depth reading, remember that you can get one on my Ko-Fi account. You can find the link for it on the description box. I wish you the best February you can have. If you celebrate it, then enjoy the festive time of Carnival or Carnival or Mardi Gras, whichever it is named where you live. And I hope it is a fun time for you to decompress from the daily struggles we all have. I will see you soon for another video. Have fun. Bye.